One of the issues with generating electricity is that it is difficult and expensive to store. This in turn has meant that more expensive and polluting generating capacity has been used but these sources can be rapidly turned on and off to cope with peaks and troughs in electricity demand. And different methods of storing electricity have been attempted with varying degrees of success. Natural storage of the electricity isn't normally in the form of a standard battery or a capacitor due to the expense of these items. Instead, what's normally done is to use the electricity to power a reversible procedure. This often does mean though that there's a considerable loss of energy in the process. This could be a system which pumps water up an incline, lets the water flow down again when the power is needed. You can use flywheels, compressed air, magnets, or even just heating something up. These items are generally expensive to construct, often take up considerable space. Additionally, the longer they use to actually store the power, the less efficient they become as energy is just lost from the system. However, this new variant of this technology takes up less space and the energy could potentially be stored for years if needed with little loss in the power. This is what's known as liquid air energy storage or LAES. Its name implies the energy is stored by cooling down the air to a very low temperature. In the case of LAES, it's cooling it down to almost minus 200 degrees centigrade, at which point, of course, the air becomes liquid rather than a gas. But as a liquid, it takes up significantly less volume than the original air, normally about the scale of 700 to 1. There is, of course, an issue that liquid air needs to be stored in insulated tanks. This has been done relatively safely for decades, and the technology to do this is a proven track record. When the power is needed again, the liquid air can be allowed to revert back into a gas. The gas will expand, and that expansion can then be used to drive a turbine to generate electricity. Since normal air has been used for the process, there aren't any direct pollution concerns, and the LAES doesn't actually require any access to water or any other key component. It can be located almost anywhere with access to the grid. However, for an ideal efficient operation, the plant would need a small waste heat source for warming up the air again. But many processes produce significant amounts of this waste heat energy would meet this requirement. This form of storage unit would still lose a considerable amount of power in the conversion process, but potentially these losses could be reduced with improvements in the technology as it goes on. LAES could potentially mean that a region or even a country run entirely on renewable power and still be able to cope with fluctuations in power needs not just during a single day but also in changes in demand over a whole year.